Justo Jaime Offside. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> This is your worst nightmare. What is it? <laughs> this is your worst nightmare. You ever go up to those sky decks that are made of glass? Oh, yes. I love them. Y- yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. Honestly, mm-hmm. I hate them. And I, I always think to myself, I'm like, man, you know, you're just dangling over these people. What happens mm. if that's what happens that breaks or just somebody falls through and then I all of a sudden it. all, you know, 15 of you just go. Uh, it happened today. Oh my god! The sky deck started cracking underneath. This is all your of their, worst nightmare. Oh, I, Not mine. To the, to the on the hundred and third floor. One hundred and third, and it just starts shattering like a windshield. And I mean, people it, are it, scrambling to get off. Yeah, yeah. So the protective top splintered into like a thousand pieces. They're saying oh god. Uh, the picture of it is pure insanity if you get a if you get a chance to look at it we were just like oh my gosh um so uh now the the tower is saying that this is willis tower they're saying no one was ever in danger because the protective layer did what it was supposed to do sure um but there there was a woman and two kids get anybody back out there again right around you yeah they were right outside of there and uh um they were just about to go on, I guess. And the woman was just like, look, I'm scared of heights in general. So when I saw that happen, I was like, nope, not going yep. out, out there, not doing that th- whole thing. Oh, boy. Yeah. Because you always wonder, like, does that protective glass actually work? Turns out it does, Turns James. Turns out it does. Turns out it so does. So once again, I feel safe. Yeah, so yeah. Pop on out there. One of my favorite things to do. The ghost bar, the palms, which yeah. I've oh, yeah, been yeah. to in... I've many, been there a long time, many, many years, yeah. but walking out on that little, and it's only a little area, yep. enough for like two or three people, but looking straight down, sure. whew, I love it. Big fan. Love it. Yeah. You're, you, you're, have you done it? Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe you did it. Were you super well, drunk? I, I, no. I went to the opening. Yeah, but how did someone I went get to you the, out on here, Here's the, the thing. So I went to the grand opening and I did not... You walk out and there's, you know, you're looking at tables and bars and all that stuff. And you're like, oh, because you can see the glass uh, around it, you know, and you're like, oh, I wonder, you know, is this underneath something? And I, I didn't know it wasn't underneath anything. And then I get out there and was like, oh, shit, huh? Mm-hmm, we're uh, mm-hmm. we're doing this on the grand opening, you know, where yeah. it's just like, look, if it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong with the grand opening, 100 of course, people and standing that's on the it headline. for the first time yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah. And I was like, cool. I was good for a drink or two out there. And then after that, I, I bet you weren't good. Pop, popped yeah. it on back in. Um, yeah, I, I, I cruised on back in. Sure. The sure. safest I've felt at one of those things was uh, the Empire State Building. You ever go to the top of that? No. Yeah. So if you go to the top of that, there is no like look see over or glass floor or whatever. Like, you can't even get that close. No, right? yeah, and there's yeah, like yeah. A, a cage, this you know bars yeah, yeah. or whatever that go. It goes like all the way up. Yeah, yeah, so you can't even climb that thing or whatever. So when you're up there, you're like, ah, I can chill out here. I can have you know a Sammy, sure, a Sambone, you know, uh, some something like that out here. Like that's that's all fine and good, but uh, the rest of it, man, I don't I don't get down on that. I mean, my fear of heights is so bad that it's like I thought you know. I wrote it into a movie to conquer it. It was with you, actually. Um, mm-hmm. It was in 50K and a Call Girl, with the skydiving. And I was like, all right. Yeah. And then, then we did, did the helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon. And I was like, if I write this in to, to a to movie and I physically have to do it, like, um, that'll, because everybody says, oh, you'll get over it after that. No. no. Like, no. Nothing changed. Nothing <laughs> changed at all. You didn't face your fears and now you're not. Uh, right, I didn't want. Yeah, like yeah. For, even on the skydiving thing, I was just like, man, can this be over? Like, I'm good. I, I think it was part of partly part of it was that the other part was um, we were going in tandem because it was my first time, right? And I had another man's dick and ball smashed into my back, um, right? I think that that had something to do with that it. That part of it, and I felt like maybe he 
got hard a little bit mm-hmm. um, just because he was with me. Right. Obviously, and you feel some. And you could feel that. Well, if, if you're, you know, grabbing a man that, that powerful. That was the real like, danger of it. Yeah. yeah. I think he got a fear boner maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I love those jokes. They, the jokes they all crack, right? You were just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 